Hello, word nerds! Happy Monday! We are six days into National Novel Writing Month. Today you're going to cross the 10,000 word mark if you are where the chart wants you to be right now. Which is crazy! That's so many words! This also means that you are probably coming up on the middle of your book. One thing I've noticed in every single book I've ever written is that once I hit like the 10 to 20,000 word mark, the magic wears off a little. It's not an exciting brand new project anymore. I've written a huge chunk of it. Pretty frequently I have written past all of the stuff I had plotted and I feel like the stuff that's gonna happen at the end is so far away that I can't touch that yet. Like. I need to fill 30,000 more words before I can get started on the ending. So today for you and me a little bit, I've got some tips for how to make your middle exciting, keep things going, so that the middle isn't the thing that makes you stop writing. that I always always do when I'm trying to make my middle stop sagging is I make things harder for the characters and then I don't stop making things harder for the characters. This is a little complicated because I mean you do have to get your characters out of all the hard things eventually but that's not right now. Look at your characters. How many opponents does your main character have? Sure you have a main character and you probably have a main villain but what are the other characters in your story doing to mess things up? Have your main character make mistakes. Have your main character and your villain come head to head and let the villain win. The second thing I'm gonna recommend is giving your book a mini midpoint climax. I believe it's Chuck Wendig who has talked about it before, but some of the best, most page turny books I've ever read have like all this stuff going on at the midpoint and it's like this can't be the end of the book how are things so bad there's still 200 pages left look at what you've got and decide something explosive that could happen at the midpoint of your book something major that could happen in the next 10 to 15,000 words I find it way easier to work towards that than to just keep subtly building things up and subtly building things up and subtly building things up until 40,000 words later when I get to write the ending. Recommendation number three, maybe kill off a character? We all know how I feel about killing off characters. I don't need to go into detail on this one. It's fun. Try it out. Kill off that character who you're thinking you might have to cut in revisions anyway. Four, give your character a win. I know for me I've been piling all of these things onto my main character just like mystery after mystery after mystery after conflict. And at some point if I keep building onto it it's gonna be too much. I need to give my character one solution so that she can keep getting more mysteries. <laughs> and so that as a reader slash writer I'm not mentally exhausted trying to figure out how I'm gonna wrap all of these things up at once at the end. And if you try all of these things and none of them are working, your middle is still sagging, you're hating it, you don't know what you're gonna do, my final recommendation is to just go explosive. In the book that my co-author and I wrote last year, I think it was, we realized halfway into the book that we had no plot and it wasn't going anywhere and we really needed to make a change if we were gonna make things go somewhere because at that point we had 25,000 words of people just consistently going into the forest and having conversations. We knew that something needed to change, we didn't know what to do to make it change, we were pantsing a little bit. The explosive option is great if you're a pantser. So we burned the forest down in the story. Burn it down, the characters can't go out there anymore, we have to make a plot happen. <laughs> the explosive option is great when you're first drafting, it sucks when you're revising. But that is not your problem right now. That is future you's problem. If you need to go explosive in your story, do it. If your character keeps going out to the forest and it's preventing the plot from happening, burn the forest down. If you're trying to get your two love interests to actually have a real conversation but you can't get them in the same room with each other for more than five minutes, break the elevator while they're both in it. Do whatever it takes to make yourself interested and to force your characters to do things. So those are the five things I do when I'm feeling like the middle is sagging and I'm not sure what to do next. Let me know your favorite tips for writing the middle of a novel down in the comments. And be sure to tune in this Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our Word Nerds Live chat. It's gonna be another write-in, as usual, in the month of November. Good luck with NaNoWriMo this week. I cannot wait to see you all on Sunday, and until then, stay nerdy.